Gospel of Fallers, Pride and Dignity, Stop the New World Order. Welcome to Her Panwo TV. A couple of days ago, I posted a video on YouTube entitled The Fourth Kind, a film review. Um, it basically was just that, a review of the movie The Fourth Kind. Now, it's come to my attention, and several of you have, several of you have left comments relating to this, that um, the last couple of minutes of the film doesn't play. Now, I don't know why that is. Um, the film is all perfectly all right on the file I have. There must be a mistake somewhere on the server. In any case, um, there's not much to add to the movie, so I'm not going to upload it again, but rather give you this little postscript. Um, basically, all I was saying at the time the film cuts off is that I thought it was very unlikely that a filmmaker concocting a fake docudrama would use a cliché like the man who's, who's being hypnotised in bed. This is what the scene was. It's a, it's a hypnotherapy session, a man's lying in bed, and suddenly he's, he goes into a kind of seizure, his voice goes deep, and it completely changes, and he levitates off the bed. Now, I'm sure, you know, it's a very, very cliché scene because it was used in The Exorcist, which is one of the most famous horror films of all time. Um, I don't think a filmmaker would use that because it's just so... Um, it's just so weak to use as uh, something, something that is so overused and cliché. Um, the, only, the only time I think a film, filmmaker would use such a cliché would be in a parody. Um, for instance, Ghostbusters has a scene like that in which a woman levitates off the bed and her voice changes. Um, so that's really all that was left at the end of the film. <coughs> I, I was just explaining why I, I, I have doubts that the film actually is fake. I suspect it may be a genuine film that since its production has been announced to be a fake in order to cover up the fact that it's real. So there's a double bluff going on. Um, there's several other reasons. I, I posted a comment on the actual trailer for the film, which, which where something actually occurred to me. Um, one of the characters in the film, who's supposed to be a real person, there's one scene where she is actually shot in hypnotherapy session videos, and there's another scene where she's actually interviewed with someone in a studio describing her experiences. And in these scenes, she's obviously very, very ill. She's lost weight. Now, I'm not saying it's impossible, but the actress playing the character, Dr. Tyler, would need to have gone on a very, very stringent diet for several months before filming that shot. This has been done, of course, before in Tom Hanks in, in the Philadelphia and things like that, but... Um, it seems unlikely somehow. That's all I've got to say, really. Um, go and see the movie. It's on general release in Britain at the moment. Um, get the DVD as soon as it's available. It's well worth seeing, and I hope you enjoy it. Hospital Porter's Pride and Dignity, stop the New World Order. Let's hope the truth comes out soon, because you'll hear it here first.